sorry about that. My tripod is broken. Okay, anyway, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to completely disassemble and reassemble um, the MyBook external hard drive that has a little display on the front. Uh, if you hold it up to the light, you can... Well, yeah, it's got a little... It's not the Elliot edition. It's just got a little display on the front that shows you how much stuff is in it and stuff like that. Uh, it's like, yeah, anyway. All you're going to need is a, a small flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. So, let's go ahead and start by removing the bits if you have a screwdriver with multiple bits just so that way nothing falls inside the hard drive and go ahead and use your small flat head to pop open these clips that are located on the back what I recommend you do is using your thumb start in the corner try and get your thumbnail out and actually I recommend you start on this side because the hard drive is not over here. So this is not the side with the hard drive. Uh, and then just kind of slide your thumb through, giving you some space to insert the there. And then just kind of slide back and forth a little bit to pop that out. And then repeat on this other side here. Once this clips have been undone, go ahead and slide the whole assembly out. Just like that. Okay. So. The next thing you're going to do is take this little foam piece off. Actually, this is kind of rubbery. Hold on. Alright. I've got really low battery, so if it dies... Oh, sorry. But, let's remove this little rubber piece here. Uh, was just take it off very, be very careful because these light um, fixtures on here, the fixtures that, um, uh, you know, I guess you call them fiberglass, I don't know, but be careful because these are, these do seem that like they would be very fragile and they seem that they could break very easily. Okay, so kind of loosen that up. Pull this, alright, and then just get this off, careful, and then pop those, put these somewhere where you won't lose them, or where you won't accidentally, you know, break them. It's time to use your Phillips head. The one I'm using is not exactly, I don't, I can't focus on it because the battery will die. It's not exactly sharp, but it's not blunt either. It's kind of, you know, semi-blunt. What you're going to do is you're going to want to unscrew this screw and that screw. Actually, before you do this, go ahead and take the hard drive out of its little um, mount here, which I don't think I properly installed the last time. But it's held in place by these rubber pieces. It's not. There's no screws holding this in. Uh, so, it's something to be aware of. I think you might want to do it this way, just so that you don't accidentally. Or, quite frankly, I'm not sure what direction you're supposed to do this in, but. Just go ahead and sort of push on it a little bit. Gently, of course, so that you don't accidentally break anything. There. And then you got these little rubber pieces in there. Um, you can take this out if you want to. I think you might actually have to in a minute. Okay, now that the actual hard drive's out of its little mount, we can go ahead and begin unscrewing these here screws. What we are unscrewing, oh, I'll actually warn you, these screws, when you first unscrew them, are quite tight. Quite tight. Quite tight. Be careful. Um, these here, well, um, are for the, uh, USB interface and the, uh, wait, you know, all that stuff. I'm sorry, if you can't see what I'm doing. I'll set it back in front of you just a sec here. Okay. So, now that those are out, you can gently, but can slide that out of that there little thing which I think is serial ATM not sure and then you got your little um, mini USB thing in your uh, power adapter and this is the power button activator thing and set that off to the side okay 
and if you actually wanted to use this as an internal hard drive in your computer you're going to have to remove these screws here so these are also very tight alright so be careful just kind of slip it off and there you are you got yourself a totally naked hard drive um, the, these models of uh, external hard drives have the Western Digital uh, this is a terabyte but depending on what size you bought WD Caviar Green so this is a very eco-friendly one uh, it is a little bit slow slower than the other ones it only is it's only at 5400 RPM but uh, it's got, this is, this is, this particular one was made in September 2018 18th of September 2009, um, 5 volt DC, um, it's just got a lot of information on there. Alright, and you can go ahead and, if your computer supports it, I don't think mine will actually support this as an internal hard drive, but I haven't tried it yet, but if your computer can support it, um, you can actually put this into, inside of one of its, you can actually put this inside of it and use it as an internal hard drive. I believe this is a um, like a ninety dollar value, and like the casing itself that you know houses it is like ten dollars. So it's very cheap, very it's a very cheap casing. So uh, you might want to, if you can get, if you have like a replacement case, you can go ahead and also put this inside of a much nicer case because. The thing with the case that uh, my uh, Western Digital uses in their uh, external hard drives, they don't have any fans, so that might be a problem. Yeah. Whoops. That was my mom laughing, in case you're wondering. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing back together.